dear friends, well, it has continued to snow almost every day this week, and the sun's warmth still feels far away. So, to pick up where we last left off, Noel and I had just left for a little trip from where we've been staying, to go to a cabin not too far away in the mountains. And well, the week definitely did not go as planned. Well, this is definitely not what I thought I would be doing this week. Or, oh no, I have to sneeze again. Oh, it tickles so bad. Uh, it's like this tickle, like right here. What am I saying? Right, okay, so we we came to this um, lovely little cabin for a bit of a, an adventure and a little bit of a trip. Um, but the day that we arrived, I started to feel sick, like my throat, I started getting a sore throat and I started to feel a little bit under the weather. And then the next day I woke up and I was just dead and out and couldn't do a single thing. Noel has been taking such good care of me. He's such a good human, oh my gosh. But today I woke up and I still don't feel well at all, but... I I get this feeling that I have to kind of get up and move a little bit. There was just something in my system. I was like, okay, let's like see what we can do to kind of move the energy a little bit. Um, the room is just a total mess because we got here. I dropped all my things and got into bed. And so I think I'm going to do what I can to make myself feel better. Right now I'm gonna, we're gonna take a shower and I might even like wash the bedding and tidy up. And last but not least, after doing those things, I think I'm just going to get cozy, find a little nook, and edit for the rest of the day. Yeah, I guess there's just some part of me that surrendered to this process and is just trusting that my system needs a lot of rest right now and that maybe there's some deeper workings that I'm not totally aware of that's working themselves out by getting sick again and again. <laughs> oh no, I have another sneeze. Oh, oh, but then it like goes away. It's like this like massive tickle right here. I mean, anyway, <laughs> I'm like a foghorn. Uh. <sighs> okay, I could do this. I just gotta start, here we go. <laughs> gotta put on pants, step one, put on pants. Done. <laughs> okay, I will deal with this mess later. <laughs> ridiculous but this is what it's come to <laughs> because otherwise I am sneezing literally every five minutes and my nose will not stop running so
and it is <laughs> incredible. It's probably one of my favorite soups in the entire world. It's green chili pozole. Mm. I can feel myself getting better when I eat this. Mm. <sighs> Another cup of tea. Wow. Well, I feel so much better. I feel like a new person. <laughs> Just that little bit of movement and a shower and food and everything is all nice and tidy. It's almost noon already and I probably have anywhere from like 25 to 35 hours of editing to do. So, so I think I'm gonna put on some calm music, light some incense and just nestle into getting creative. Oh, this is such a sweet message. Let's see if I can. Focus. actually feeling so much worse as opposed to better but yeah I guess it's just gonna be another day of staying in bed surrounded by kitties the cabin for about five days and unfortunately I was sick the whole time so many of the things we had planned to do didn't happen but when we left I had this sense that even though it was not what I had wanted that perhaps it's what I needed and I'm just grateful that I had the privilege to let myself rest and get better
years now, I've designed my calendars around the moon cycle. And since it was just the new moon, I sat down to lay everything out. But rather than figuring out and planning this next cycle of time from just the to-dos or even my goals, I did something different. I started off by listing my needs. I sat with myself and I wrote out what my needs are in this present time. I have a need to move my body. I have a need to create and be consistent with it. Even things like, I have a need to pay my taxes. <laughs> it's just a simple shift, but the effect that it has had is that it has created a bridge between what I need to do and feeling deeply connected to myself within what I need to do. And it eliminated my tendency to be really conceptual or idealistic when planning. So I highly recommend trying it and I hope it supports you. Tripod. Tripod. Gabrielle, use a tripod. Okay. What are we doing? <laughs> so we're back here, and the last few days, I'm not gonna lie, have been really hard. I won't go into details, but I don't know what's going on with the universe. It just there's a there's a relentless quality about living on planet Earth where. I've been using this metaphor to tell my friends how it has felt and they've said it's it's been very helpful so I thought I would share it here but it's kind of like if you've ever swam out into the ocean and you know you get to where the waves break and you dive under a wave you know waves coming at you you dive under to get through the wave and then you pop your head back up and another wave is just about to crash right over you and so you have to dive under again and you come back up and a wave is coming you dive under come back up and a wave is coming but it just seems like you know the ways in which we used to orient like the ways in which we would regulate our systems and even our conceptions and ideas about what is safe and secure it just doesn't feel like it's fully applicable at this time anymore that we're really being forced to I don't know what the word is because even anchoring isn't quite the word because I feel like these days being being super duper anchored actually doesn't always work because there's so much going on that we actually have to be a bit more fluid, but, but, you know, the ways in which we feel safe, secure, the ways in which we really find a sense of connection with self and orientation, it's just different now. And that's the invitation, but it's not easy. It just feels like <laughs> every wave that's coming, you know, I, I feel like I get on my feet and I feel like I kind of understand something and know something. I don't know, then it's just like, nope, 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 nope. Things just keep shifting and keep changing. <sighs> so anyway, I am feeling so, so, so much better. Um, I woke up yesterday feeling like 85, 90% better. That was the first time that I have had a head cold in like, <laughs> it literally feels like eight years. But oh, that was absolutely miserable getting sick coincided with a really crazy cold snap that we're having so I actually really couldn't spend a ton of time outside anyway. Today it only got up to 25 degrees Fahrenheit which is negative three almost negative four degrees Celsius so yeah just because there has been so much going on I'm I'm just spending the day and time just tending. I'm probably going to change my sheets and make my bed and Anyway, thank you so much for, for being here. I hope you stay healthy and well and are enjoying this time post-equinox where here in the Northern Hemisphere, everything is, is really starting to wake up in a particular way. Although I feel like everywhere um, I'm hearing that this winter is definitely extended, extended, extended. 
but yeah thank you for being here wherever you are in the world i hope that you have the time and space for the many different waves that are coming our way these days and are able to find something that that gives you a sense of of connectedness to yourself amidst all of it knowing that that connection with self cannot be taken away regardless of circumstance so anyway thank you anyway i'm saying this because i know that like past me would probably not want to put this video out there the way that it is that it i would tell myself like this isn't enough there needs to be more but it's much more in alignment and congruency with what i really believe in around creativity and just showing up and and honoring the process <laughs> to just let this be what it is because yes it's not as fleshed out as a lot of my other videos but it's still enough <laughs> both because number one as a creative you never know if something that you put out there how it's going to be received and we get all these pictures and ideas of what we think it should be but sometimes if we just show up authentically like that's show up with like whatever <laughs> that it tends to meet someone in, in just the right way that we can't predict. And that I realize that if I state that and I share that, that it also will hopefully encourage people to be able to just show up where they are. Mm. Oh yeah. Noel, this is an amazing cup of coffee. <laughs>